Hey Virgo, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon, I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Tuesday, January 5th. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. At the heart of your reading, we have the Ten of Needles. You're about to let something go for good. Something, it's like an old way of thinking. An old, an old grudge. Your challenge is the six of needles because you just want to leave it in the past. You recognize that holding on to that grudge is keeping you connected energetically with things that no longer serve you. So by forgiving, by releasing, and you're still working on it, it's not released yet. It's still the focus or the, the subject of your reading. You're working on releasing it. You're still in reflection mode with the four of needles in your focus. You've withdrawn from the situation and you want to gain a mental clarity about this. You want to resolve it within your own mind. You're disengaging from it in order to get us you know, like when you're just, when you're connected with an energy, it's hard to be clear about it because, you know, feelings get in the mix. And this is all swords so far. The needles in this deck is the sword suit, the suit of air, the suit of the mind. This is all mental. So you want to disconnect so that you can focus on the mental aspect, so you can analyze it, so you can get some perspective and get this... Um, peace of mind that you're seeking. You recognize that it's time to let this go so that you can move on. In the recent past, we have the four of presence in reverse. You're not clinging to the past anymore. There's something that you felt, it, it, it was like comfortable holding on to this grudge. It served you for a time, but you've recognized that by releasing it, you free up your arms, metaphorically speaking, to gather more pentacles. Now, pentacles are all about your material world. So this is this is not just affecting you mentally, it's affecting your life in a material sense. But you're opening up to what's next. You're opening up to new energy, to expansion. Let's see your... And, oh gosh. That's, no, look at this. That's like half the deck. We're gonna take the one that came out face up. Seven of Candles. This is you taking a stand. Because of a newfound conviction, it, I feel like it's the, the environment pulling on you, gently tugging on you, to stand up for yourself. And I don't mean by like doubling down on the grudge because universe always wants what's, what's healthy for you and holding on to grudges are, isn't healthy. Universe wants you to let go of this grudge so that you stand up for your own well-being and release what no longer serves you Recognize that you have the high ground here. You have the... It's, it's the universe saying that you're right. I don't think that there's a clear cut like right and wrong here, but this is just a, a confirmation from the universe to say you don't need to carry this grudge anymore. Universe spirit recognizes your claim. The reason why you've been holding on to this grudge. It's like there's an element of truth in the in why you've been this way. Let's see what comes up in the near future. How does this story unfold for Virgo?
what is coming up next. Ooh, you're going to get a burst of momentum toward a wish of yours. This is awesome. This tells me you're going to be successful in releasing this grudge because this feels like a reward for, um, for aligning with positive energy. So whatever you have your desires pointing at, expect to see indications of that coming toward you now. That's exciting. Let's see your surprise energy. Taking you by surprise and affecting this situation, we have the Page of Potions reversed and Temperance reversed. I think that there's going to be a disintegration here. Temperance is all about coming together and finding connection with the help of spirit. The page of potions reversed is about um, not being emotionally engaged. So with a disengaging energy supported by spirit, and then the not being emotionally engaged, I feel like this dropping this grudge is guided by spirit and it's going to, you're going to stop caring about it. And I feel in this instance, that's a super positive surprise for you because I think it's taken up not only mental space for you, but emotional space. It's like when you release that, then energetically, emotionally, your emotional body is going to feel lighter. It's going to feel like a burden's been lifted. Oh, for some of you, you are cutting energetic ties. That, I mean, that's another way of saying when you think about it. It's another way of saying releasing a grudge because it keeps you energetically tied to that person in a negative sense. But I think it's something stronger than just that. I think, I think this is someone with whom you share a spiritual bond. This is like cord cutting for those of you who are so inclined. It doesn't need to mean all that if you're not into that um, element of spirituality, but for those of you in the know, if you know, if you understand what I what I'm talking about, that's a possibility for you. Let's see. I, I'm I'm getting that some of you are curious what I'm talking about. Um, the short version is that it's like um, it's like a a spiritual contract that you entered into before this lifetime. And um, some people believe in the fact that you can make the choice in this life to become aware of a spiritual contract and then to um, withdraw from that. It's called cord cutting. There's a lot of information available on YouTube, on the internet in general, if you wanted to uh, search for more information on that. Let's see the hopes and fears. We have the three of candles. You are prepared to wait for your ship to come in. You're prepared to align yourself with whatever the universe wants to bring you. And you're trusting that, I mean, because you're going to see indications of a, a, a burst of momentum towards what's truly going to make you happy, that is going to inspire and engender so much trust within you that you're hopeful for the future now. You, you're going to be more apt to put yourself in a position of trusting the universe to pull through their end of the deal in various stages of your life. It's like because you're having this positive experience now, that's going to become a template for you in how you deal with similar situations moving forward. The resolution of all of this is its exactly what we've been discussing. The five of potions reversed is that you've, you've released the, the bad feelings, the negative emotion, and you're recognizing what you still have going for you and you're moving on with your life. This is a shift from being consumed with negative emotion to whatever degree that you are 
and then releasing that energy because you've processed it properly and you can move past it. It's not going to creep up on you again. This is resolved energy. And now you've got that two of cups that's inherent in the five of cups energy, which is um, passionate new love. So it's the ability to connect with others on an emotional level in a very positive and healthy way. Let's see your advice. We have the Knight of Presence reversed. Um, this is saying don't expect the journey to go all in one step. There's going to be setbacks and you need to roll with that. The, when these things happen, like you, I think it's, it's highlighting what's happening now as you might feel like it's a setback, but you're actually on your journey. It's just a pause. It's a necessary pause toward your happiness. Virgo, that's your reading for today. I hope this helped. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you back tomorrow.